Hi friends, welcome to VSA Tech Info. This is VS Hop. In this video, I will be showing how to replace the magnetic choke with that of electronic choke in the tube light. As we all know, this is the old model tube light frame with a magnetic choke and a starter to power up the tube light. I will be showing how to replace this magnetic choke with that of electronic choke. For this electronic choke, starter is not required. This wiring of the tube light is with electronic ballast. This is the electronic ballast from Philips Sumo Extreme model EB FNX 136 which is 40 watt electronic ballast. All this contains is two wires, one is red and black, 230 volts supply will be given to these wires. And on the other side, there are two gray wires and two white wires. These white wires will be connected to one of the terminal of the tube light and these gray wires are connected to the other terminal of tube light. This is the wiring and there is no starter required for the tube light when you use electronic ballast. What is there inside this? electronic ballast let us see there is a PCB electronic circuit board which consists of two transistors coil transformer few capacitors and diodes this is the electronic ballast and there are SMD resistors and capacitors also in this circuit. I will show you the back side of the circuit board. Now here when we see there is a bridge rectifier, SMD resistors, capacitors and a SMD Zener diode. This is the back side of the electronic ballast circuit. The overview of this electronic circuit I will show you now. The 230 volts supply is fed from red and black wire to the electronic ballast through the fusible resistors which are 10 ohms 1 watt to the bridge rectifier at the back side of the circuit board. This bridge rectifier converts 230 volt AC into DC at its output. This DC is now connected to two capacitors in a fashion which will decide the midpoint of the output voltage. This output voltage which is dual supply is further connected to power up the uh, transistors which are half bridge inverter form. Usually the inverters will have four transistors to function but half bridge will have two transistors and the other two transistors will be replaced with the two capacitors. These two transistors in half bridge form are self oscillating inverter. To trigger this inverter, there is a, a CR component which initiates the triggering action for this half bridge inverter. This oscillates at 20 kilohertz to 80 kilohertz which is of high frequency in nature compared to the input 50 hertz frequency that is this inverter chops the direct current DC 
into a square wave pulse at the output. This square wave pulse is applied to the transformer to the tube light. This is the general or broad working principle of the electronic choke. I have reverse engineered this circuit diagram. We will be going in details through the schematic for the circuit operation of this electronic ballast. As I told you, the starter is not required. I will remove the starter from the tube light circuit. So I have removed the starter assembly which is not required. This is the magnetic choke which is not required now and this will be replaced with the electronic choke.
these two wires we need to connect to this terminal and these grey wires we need to connect to this other terminal and already I have connected the 230 volts supply Now I have connected the electronic ballast with the old tube light frame with that of two terminals for the tube light and there is no starter. I have removed the starter connection. Now I will be connecting the tube light to the frame and let us switch on the tube light. The tube light started working with the electronic ballast. There is no flickering at the time of startup, it immediately closes. Image is the reverse engineered circuit diagram of the Philips 40 watt electronic ballast schematics. Advantages of electronic ballast Electronic ballast operates even in low supply voltage. Initially to start up the lamp discharge process, electronic ballast produces high frequency which is in the order of 20 kHz to 80 kHz. This is based on the resonant frequency decided by the coils used to give very high output voltage. Noise emitted during operation of the electronic ballast is very low. Electronic ballast does not create any RF interference. As it works with very high frequency, electronic ballast helps to start the lamp operation instantaneously. Electronic ballast does not require any starter that is used in electromagnetic choke. Electronic ballast never creates flickering. No startup vibration occurs in electronic ballast. Electronic ballast is less in weight whereas electromagnetic choke is bulk. Ballast loss is very less hence energy saving is possible. Electronic ballast increases the life of the lamp. 
due to operation at high frequencies discharge process in fluorescent lamp is at higher rate hence the quality of light is increased thanks for watching this video please like and subscribe vsr tech info